question, evaluate A Tale of Two Cities as a historical novel. A Tale of Two Cities can be evaluated as a historical novel that effectively captures the spirit and tumultuous atmosphere of the French Revolution. While the novel is primarily a work of fiction, Charles Dickens meticulously incorporates historical events, settings, and characters into the narrative, creating a vivid portrayal of the era. One of the strengths of A Tale of Two Cities as a historical novel lies in Dickens' ability to transport readers to the turbulent period of the late 18th century. The descriptions of the Bastille, the streets of Paris, and the revolutionary fervor bring the historical context to life, immersing readers in the sights, sounds, and emotions of the time. Dickens' attention to detail and his research into the historical backdrop of the French Revolution lend authenticity to the novel setting. Moreover, Dickens skillfully weaves real historical events into the storyline. The storming of the Bastille, the reign of terror, and the fall of Robespierre are all significant events that feature prominently in the novel. These historical events serve as a backdrop for the personal stories of the characters, adding depth and complexity to their experiences. By intertwining fictional narratives with historical realities, Dickens provides a nuanced understanding of the impact of the revolution on both individuals and society as a whole. Additionally, Dickens explores the social and political climate of the time through his characters and their interactions. The stark contrast between the oppressed lower classes and the decadent aristocracy is a recurring theme, reflecting the social inequalities that fueled the revolution. Through the characters of Lucy Manet, Charles Delnay, and Sidney Carton, Dickens explores the moral dilemmas, sacrifices, and the pursuit of justice amidst a society in turmoil. While the characters are fictional, their struggles and conflicts reflect the broader issues and tensions of the historical period. However, it is important to note that while A Tale of Two Cities is rooted in historical events, it is ultimately a work of fiction and not a comprehensive historical account. Dickens takes artistic liberties in crafting his characters and shaping the narrative, prioritizing storytelling over historical accuracy. As such, the novel should be appreciated more as a literary exploration of the human condition within a historical context, rather than a strict historical account. In conclusion, A Tale of Two Cities successfully captures the essence of the French Revolution as a historical novel. Dickens' vivid descriptions, incorporation of historical events, and exploration of social and political themes make the novel a compelling portrayal of the era. While it may not be entirely historically accurate, its ability to evoke the spirit of the time and shed light on the human experiences of the period makes it a valuable contribution to the genre of historical fiction.